Still in recovery from that good old bonk on my head I got last week. And, um... I talked about it in the video about my concussion, like, initially. But... It really has made me realize how much I need quiet and stillness. I just need a good deal of quiet and stillness in my life. Um, noise and a really fast pace are just not... Oh, they're just not good for me. And I, I do sort of like that... I, I am feeling the effects of going too fast and I have to be mindful of that even more so than usual. I've been aware for a long, long time that I need to turn down the stimulus in my life. And it honestly has gotten a lot better in the last couple of years. I've gotten much more, much more okay with quiet and stillness than I was before. It doesn't drive me as mad as it maybe used to. But still, uh, music and stuff that amps me up like caffeine, it all is just so taunting, it's, or so tempting, just all the time. I just always want to have more and be more and sense more and experience more. It's just like more, 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 more. But there's never, there's never a point when I'm like, okay, that's enough once I get into that spiral of just consumption over and over and over again. Gets to the point where you need to be consuming things. Like I need, I need the sound on the computer on like while I'm sleeping as white noise. But quiet and stillness is what really illuminates everything around you. It's what really lights up your entire experience. There, there isn't anything to experience unless there's like nothing, like a backdrop of nothing to compare it to. I've talked before about how much I like uh, Jim Jarmusch movies for the fact that there's long scenes of just dialogue that doesn't necessarily amount to anything. Sometimes it does, but it, it you don't feel like the scene needs to build up to something because it's just there to breathe. And I saw a movie recently called Causeway that I really love. I really, really love that movie. Um, but I can see why it's probably going to get overlooked among all the good movies of this year. Because there's just nothing spectacular about it most of the time. It doesn't aim to be... I mean, what does spectacular even mean? We could break that down. I mean, spectacular, the root is spectacle. It is a spectacle. And it's not... Jim Jarmusch movies and the movie Causeway and a lot of other stuff that I like, like the Winnie the Pooh books, there isn't a lot of grand spectacle to them. There's a time for spectacle for sure. There's a time for overriding the senses. But I forget that I can only really appreciate those kind of sensory overload uh, pieces of media, like everything everywhere all at once is a good example. I can only appreciate them against a backdrop of, like, not that, of not sensory overload. <laughs> like, there's a specific two or two and a half hour time when, you know, I can overload the senses, and then I walk away and I just appreciate it, and I just, I just digest it. I think life is sort of like my movie in that way. Where there are going to be big things that happen regardless of whether or not I control them. And so I don't need to put myself into the state of being over, overdrive, you know, overdrive senses. Like, because I'll, I'll experience those things anyway. Life, uh... Oh. Life has just shown me that Just like peace. Finding a little bit of peace in your day-to-day. -day. 
is uh, is the biggest gift. It's it's just it's it's the most valuable. Just letting everything letting everything be quiet and be still. It really does make you wonder when you're constantly when I'm constantly flipping through my phone go to this app and then to that app and to that app and to that app and then start back at the beginning and do it again and again and again like what am I looking for when I'm digging through all that stuff what am I trying to what am I trying to give myself that I don't already have And what is wrong with just slowing down? With just taking it all easy? I know we're given we're given lots of messages about work ethic and toxic grind culture on and self help and stuff. But just says do more and do more and then do more on top of that. How do you know that you've done enough if you don't have anything else you can do? But what is so wrong with just taking your time? A day lasts 24 hours regardless. And I really want to feel and experience all those 24 hours. Except when it's uh, daylight savings time. And then it's not quite 24. <laughs>